And we often say, and Swami often says, my life is my message. And we try to imbibe and we try to follow a little bit of what he says. Sacrificing ourselves for the mission, for the Lord, and being of some service to humanity. And this evening, Swami has blessed one such student who just wants to be part of his mission and wants to be at his divine lotus feet. Vinod Kumar Matapati, who's pursuing his third year BSc at the Sri Satya Sai Center for Human Excellence right here in Mudanhalli. He joined the institution in his sixth grade, has been one of the very bright students. And today, he only wants to be at Bhagwan's lotus feet. In fact, his parents wanted him to go and pursue medicine but he wanted to remain at Swami's lotus feet. And brothers and sisters, Brother Vinod Kumar addressing all of us this evening. Sai Ram. For my most humble pranams at Swami's lotus feet, dear Swami, respected elders, mothers, sisters, and my dear loving brothers, a very hearty sairam to one and all. As I stand here, I remember one of the vachanas of Bhakti Bandari Basavarna. He said, Vachana Dalli Ninna Nama Amrita Virali, Nayana Dalli Ninna Muruti Rali, Kivi Ali Ninna Kiruti Tumbirali, Manadalli Ninna Nenahu Tumbirali. It means, O oh Lord, let my eyes be filled with your glorious form. Let my ears be filled with your glory and let my mind be filled with your divine, divine love. O oh Lord Kudala Sangama Deva, Satya Sai Deva, let me become a bee at your lotus feet. It is said, Jantu Nam. Narajarma Durlabham means among all the species, the birth of human is very rare. Swami has given this human birth, which is so precious. He has given us a mind which, which we, by which we can think of him. He has given eyes by which we can see his beautiful creation. He has given us ears by which we can hear his glory. He has given us this tongue which, by which we can speak and sing his glory. And he has given us a heart by which we can feel him, love him, and love all others. And he has given these hands to serve him. As I say this, I remember one of the stories told by Swami very recently in Kodai Canal. This story tells the efficacy of Namasmarana. Swami many times told Namasmarana is the royal route to attain him. The story goes like this. Once Narada went to Mahavishnu and asked, Lord, what is the use of chanting your name? Lord smiled and said, you do one thing. You go to the earth where a newly born insect has, has taken birth and go to that insect and chant the name and go and tell the same thing. Narana did the, Nara, uh, Narada went and did the same thing. The same thing happened. He came back and he was directed to go 
to newly born fawn he went and told narayana that fawn also died he came back and he was directed to go to a calf which was newly born he went and said narayana that calf also died he got very afraid he came running to lord vishnu lord what is this the moment i chanted your name the all this the insect died the parrot died and the fawn died and now the calf also died what kind of sin i am committing please please guide me i don't know what to do now please forgive me then all knowing our lord smiled and said now you go to that kingdom where the queen has given birth to a baby and go and chant lord's name now first of all narana narada was very afraid and he went with heavy hearted and of course he was welcomed very well with great respect and reverence he went to the, he went close to that child and looked into his eyes and took him into the arms and said narayana the, the moment he said narayana the child smiled he gave gave big smile and it started speaking all were gathered there was amused by seeing this scene the child started speaking and he told oh lord narada thank you thank you very much for redeeming me from this world you came to me when i was an insect when i was parrot when i was fawn and you came to me when i was calf and now you have now even you have come in the human birth thank you so much for crossing for helping me to cross this ocean of samsara very quickly then the after saying that the child also died and it attained moksha through this what we can learn is the lord's name is so important even by telling and even by hearing we attain moksha if we do it with sincerity swami we have attained this human birth after completing many janmas we don't know how many births we had taken in our previous janmas lord please guide us to attain you in this human birth let us utilize this human birth very 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 lovingly by serving all this humanity by serving you swami please give us the strength to lead a good life by which we can serve you and make you happy we love you swami thank you thank you for giving me this opportunity thank you so much